Hello, today I'm going to put the engine back. The new engine have broken parts, so I'm taking from the old one and put it on this one. So enjoy the video and like and subscribe. So for the turbo water line, I did replace it. They cut it over here, so I just replace it. It is five, eight, eight all. So there's one over here, ST30. Over here. So I take the turbo, this pipe, this pipe's out. I will use, I'll use the old one. So now I take the shield, that shield out. Now I'm putting it back. First thing I change the bolt, I drill it and then make a big hole and I put new bolt. Finally, I put it in. So tomorrow I'll put the support it's on the jack stand. It's on the jack, so some bolts in, some bolts not in yet. You will struggle a little bit to put it in. If you have one two person, you can put it in. If someone will lower the, the jack or the engine jack be easier if you have someone else otherwise it'll be harder so hold the pack tomorrow good morning so today we're doing we're putting everything back so we'll put the the intercooler pipe for the turbo after i put that i'll put with the wire and then i'll put the mount now it's on the jack so I was looking at intake and then on the for the used engine some parts broken on here so I'll use the old one instead of that one it's not broken sometimes it's broken, it's not broken over here this one's broken so they're the same they're inside it's dirty so I'll use the old ones better so I'll put the AC mounted wires and then I'll torque the the bolt for the transmission engine the bigger bolt it is 80 newton meter and then for the small ones it is 40 newton meter and then for the starter it is 42 it is two bolts one two but there is inside one so it is the bigger one so it's 80 newton meter the clip you need to put it back don't forget the o-ring for the intercooler line exhaust i put the exhaust in the bolts tied so for the intercooler line, for the turbos in, and the wires in the backs in, over here is in, kind of some of them for the spark plugs, the coils. Now I'm putting the bracket for the engine mount. Then I'll take the, the jack and then I'll torque, torque the bolt for the engine and transmission. <music> I 
I just starting torquing the bigger bolts or the it is 80 millimeter more ones 40 I'm putting back the the ground for the starter and then at least 30 millimeter for the bolt. Well, this one is this guy. Sword cut. I'm going to cut by this. So these two cell phone can clamp both of them and then hold it. I'm going to put the alternator. morning so I put everything back now I need to put oil coolant I'm draining the oil now so I just got yesterday the oil just put it in here so I'm going to start a few minutes there after I finish everything so I'm putting a Coulon 50-50, which is what I use. Oil is drained, and I'm putting new oil. The Coulons, I don't know before, I don't have a special tool for that, so after I start the car, I will see. So I'm using oil, because 5W40 here kind of what I use they recommend it is 540 or 5W30 but you can use both of them I think you put 4.6 quart alright so I'm out there to start the car this is everything in Okay, the sound is good. So the car is running. It's good, fine. So now I'm going to check the chicken engine light. I'm going to raise the code. First I check it.
everything is working so far, so good. So I was buying almost, I don't know, like maybe an hour flying the engine. So let's go and go everywhere. The fans working. So now I'm just going to drive it a little bit and then see. So I re reset the cords. The chingy off now. I reset everything. Uh, we don't need this old cord, so we can do it for now. Hmm. This transmission is working. Oh. Why I'm going reverse? I drive the car, no transmission issue, no engine issue now, it's already done now, so if you like it, like and subscribe, write your comments, what kind of video do you want, and then thank you, bye!